Well, friends, this class has the concern of the scope of environmental education, and we are discussing so much well continuously uh, concerning to the various parameters of uh, the scope of environmental education. And as I do remember, and you also remember, we left our, uh, you see, our last class here means up to point number four we discuss and this point point number four is very important for discussing or explaining the scope of environmental education environmental education has the concern or it includes the values attitudes and lifestyles of men and here in this point we got some sub points and sub points up to sub points number three we had discussion in class up to class number four means we discuss about laws we discuss about references and we discuss about the concept of environment so much well and this is the another sub point which we are to discuss today and this sub point has connectivity with the main point values attitudes and lifestyle of men which is the prime concern of the scope of environmental education the concept of environmental education is an extensive concept and it covers so many parameters and these are the parameters you see depending on which we must we can so much well discuss uh, and the scope of the extent of or the the, the, the coverage of environmental education and in point number four there are many sub points and up to sub point number four we discuss in our last class on today sub point number you see up to sub point number three we discuss in our earlier classes and today we are to start to discuss in uh, you see within a short span of time about the sub point uh, number four which has the connectivity with the main point under the title of the sub point is ecology and biodiversity this when we are to discuss about the scope of environmental education we are to know so much well we our perception relating to ecology and biodiversity must should be or must be very clear and when we study this means ecology and biodiversity we see that the term ecology is derived from the greek term ekios okios and logos okios and logos equal ecology which which mean house and discourse or study as well house and study as well so ecology is such a term which is you see originate originated from two greek terms one is okios and the other part of the term is logos and both these two terms basically mean about okios means house and logos means discourse or study as well or study or science so friends ecology this way let us see the next slide is a special branch of fundamental of pure biology this branch of biology means ecology is mainly concerned with the relations of organisms to one another and to their surroundings in simple perception in simple explanations in simple words it is a study of living beings in relation to their surroundings that is the environment let us see the next slide biodiversity now in brief means the variety of plant and animal life in a world or in a habitat means in totality the environment biospheres where living organisms exist are very diverse around 50 million species with diverse characteristics uh, existed in the biodiversity and we are bound to understand ecology and biology so much well for understanding the basic concept of environmental education or for knowing about extensively the very scope of environmental education 
let us see the next slide diversity among the species has been created by the NASA which should be protected without any harm in the words of Kausik and Kausik biodiversity refers to the variety and variability among all groups of living organisms and the ecosystem complexes in which they occur because you see for the existence for the pure existence of the total habitat or the environment there is the need of understanding about the spatiality of the ecology and biodiversity at the same time it importance or significance for the existence of the habitat or for the existence of all the living creatures and non-living things and beings uh, in ecology and biodiversity means in the total environment let us see the next slide in the convention of biological diversity 1992 biodiversity has been defined as the variability among living organisms from all sources including inner area terrestrial marine and other aquatic ecosystems and ecological complexes of which they are a part let us see the next slide this is biodiversity and by uh, you see observing each and every segment or all the specifications we can understand the concept of biodiversity at the same time it Im, its importance in understanding the significance of the environment or uh, for the safety of life as well as for the safety of the total uh, habitat in totality let us see the uh, next slide because uh, the feeling of eco the feeling of coexistence the feeling of coexistence and cooperation has special significance for the survival of the organisms because there is interlinkage society which represents a totality of persons living on land and nature that is everything located outside society should maintain the natural balance and harmony for the safety of the environment in totality let us see the next slide besides it includes all the activities which are you see destructive to the to to environment and bear negative impact on human behavior sentiments tastes etc it also discusses in detail about the various problems occur due to pollution and ways of their remedies for better existence of the environment let us see the next slide environmental education friends imparts knowledge about the ecosystem and that's why it is very important to understand on biodiversity and helps to develop an attitude to honor the natural balance and harmony among everything or between you see the ecology or the biodiversity and the existence or the way of existence of other living beings and things in this complex uh, you see habitat it helps to realize that in deeper sense nature and society are indivisible means nature and society cannot be separated because these are both are indivisible not divisible not separatable man has to realize this reality for his own existence or die and that's why uh, you see environmental education has the special coverage of the ecology and biodiversity because man's society and here we have found so much so well nature has specific interconnectivity and nature and society cannot be separated and with 
or keeping or maintaining connectivity between nature and society we are to realize everything else for the safety of the environment in totality or for the safety of our existence or existence of all the living beings all the living things here in this complex you see habitat which in is totally in totality understood as the environment or the surrounding in other sense so friends uh, point number four can start into the scope of environment we have discussed today the sub point which says the specification as ecology and biodiversity on environmental education has the basic concern of knowing thoroughly about the ecology and understanding much well about the significance of biodiversity at the same time environmental education is such a process of education which helps us to understand the interconnectivity between nature and society means it helps to understand that nature and society cannot be studied you see by cannot be studied without interconnectivity or by making separate or you see with the spirit of separation nature and society cannot be well studied and environmental education is such a process of education which emphasizes on understanding the interconnectivity between nature and society for better existence of every living being every living thing or all living beings and things in this complex you say habitat in this in this complex natural surrounding or in a sense in the complex environment so thank you so much for today the other things will be discussed in the coming classes thank you so much <coughs>